Hi and welcome. In this short tutorial we are going to carry out descriptive statistics in Python. In a previous video we learned how to do descriptive stat statistics using pandas. But in this tutorial we are going to use NumPy. Both are great Python packages if you want to do statistics or just data science. Okay, so the descriptive statistics that we are going to calculate are the central tendency. In this case, it's the mean. And the standard deviation, the percentiles, the minimum and the maximum. Okay, let's start. We start by importing NumPy as NP. And then we are going to load the data, the tooth growth data set. It's a CSV, a comma delimited file. Uh, <coughs> into a NumPy array. So we're going to use NP gen from text and the tooth grow CSV data file. You can find a link in the description to this data file. You will also find links to NumPy and a link to a blog post so you can read about this and see the code. Mm. Let's go on. So we are going to use the argument names to start with and we set it to true. It's because the First uh, uh, row contains the column names and they can be good to use. And then we're going to set the delimiter to comma. If you have a data set where the delimiter is tabs, you can set it to tabs or semi semicolon or anything actually. And then we're going to continue and set D type to none so we can get both float and integer data types into our array and now if everything is spelled correctly this should work okay we're now going to continue so in the next the in the next step we're going to loop through each level of the two factors. So we have sup and those and that's two columns. We're going to create a subset of the data for each cross level of these two factors. So if you're familiar with pandas you may notice that subsetting a numpy array is pretty simple. Um, this descriptive statistics are then appended into a list. So we start by creating the list, summary list. So for sub level in MP unique data sub. So now we take each unique value in the column name sub and we loop through that and then we continue the same with the those column so each unique value there we're going to loop through that and now we are going to subset the data so data to summarize data oh sorry data sup is the same as the unique level in the outer loop like that and data sorry data dose equals dose level now we can calculate the mean 
data to sum len mean. We can go on with the standard deviation to sum len std. So I added the max and the min. It's the same as mean and standard deviation. You just add max and min. And I forgot to mention that len is uh, the dependent variable. So, or one of them. So now we're going to get the percentiles. So we're going to put them in ps and p per Centile have to spell it correct. Data to some len twenty five and seventy five. So now we're going to append it to our list. So mean as D max as mean as and we're going to put ps the twenty one zero because it's a twenty fifth and then we're gonna do ps one because it's the seventy five fifth and then we're gonna add the sub level and the dose level. Okay, now we're pretty much done. Um, we're gonna create a NumPy array from the list we created because we're going to get a pretty much nicer output than if we printed a list. So the NP results np array d type none and np set print options suppress true and then we print the results like that now we see we have the main the standard deviation now the mean, the standard deviation, the max, the min, the 25th percentile, the 75th percentile, the sub level and the dose level. I'm going to show you how the list would look like much harder to read I think but I still prefer doing my descriptive statistics using pandas because the output is way nicer it's easier to read you get these tables you can have a look at in at at my previous video video on descriptive statistics using pandas so that was it. I hope you learned something and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more Python statistics. Um, have a nice day.